Hello everyone. In this video today I am going to give you a detailed description about Quick Protect tool. So this is how it looks like. Application ID provided here would be the one that would be required by the application when it runs. So the license for the same application ID should be present for the exe to run. So let me take uh, the application ID as demo as I have a demo application ID license installed on this machine. The encrypt exe code is actually an option which helps the um, helps us to encrypt the text section of the exe. So if a, if a hacker tries to open the exe code it would be in the encrypted form. So if he tries to remove the licensing APIs and uh, remove the licensing API and bring the entry point back to the original text section it will not work because the text section of the exe is encrypted so it helps us to you know avoid hacking and cracking of the application allow terminal remote session this is an option which would need to be checked if you want your application to be run over the remote session over or over the terminal session otherwise your application will not run over the terminal session or over the remote session change license checking time this is the time which is taken by the application to check for the license so by default after every one minute the license is checked whether it's present or not decrypt data files is is an option which you could use to to protect your uh, data files along with the application so suppose if you have a, a license an application which uses mdb files so what you can do is you can check this option provide the extension as dot mdb so what will happen now is that uh, uh, whenever your application will run it will be able to decrypt the mdb files which will be protected along with this uh, uh, quick protect tool so how you can you know uh, encrypt the uh, the mdb files is through data files option here you can click on data files open ag encrypt tool and uh, you can input the folder where your mdb file is you can add that folder here and in the output folder you can browse to the location where you want the protected data file to be generated and then you can click on encrypt so this will encrypt your data files or here in this case here mdb files and now when your application will run it will be able to open the mdb files which is encrypted using this tool but um, you know it will the MDB file will be completely encrypted so uh, any other application will not be able to open that uh, MDB file so this helps you to you know uh, hide your uh, database or hide your uh, any other data file and uh, this is another optional optional option I mean you can use it if you are using the decrypt data files option you can provide an encryption key also let us suppose that I have an application ID of uh, Four, and I want to provide an encryption key and can pro I can provide the same encryption key here and when I'll open the encryption tool it will provide it will give the same encryption key I can provide the input folder output folder so my application will be able to uh, decrypt the MDB files however in future suppose in future if I want to you know provide a newer version of my application with application ID say 6 and I provide the encryption key as 6 so it will be able to open the older data file that is the older mdb file which was encrypted with encryption key 4 but the application which i provided earlier the previous application which was locked with application id 4 will not be able to decrypt the data file which will be encrypted now so this way it helps you to you know uh, prevent your future data files to be decrypted by the older application so with the newer versions you will provide a newer license and your newer versions will only be able to open your newer data files not the older uh, you know older applications or the older applications will not be able to uh, decrypt the newer data files so this is how you can work however most of the customers are not using this option this is only for some customers who, who have some specific requirement of such sort now the last option that we have is allow locking with a USB key without hard disk ID Mac ID suppose you want to lock your application or your uh, uh, 
your application only to a USB key so that it will run only when a USB key will be plugged in then you can check this option uh, it would be a little bit lesser in terms of security but it offers you a flexibility of uh, plugging the key anywhere on any machine and running your application so you can provide a USB key to your customers they can plug into plug it into one machine run it from there and suppose in future they want to change machine they can move to another machine plug the key in there and run the application there so this is what this option is all about now I'll show you how you can you know protect your application and then I'll give you a little bit uh, brief on what what the encrypted application would be like so I have just pro browse the unprotected application and then browse the protected application so this is an unprotected application and uh, here there would be some files which would be generated and then and the protected application would be generated here so let us first compare what would be different I mean what I was talking about when we talked about encrypt exe text section if you open this uh, original application in CFF Explorer you can see the text section is here you know it will have all the information about um, your exe all the original code of the exe and if I open the protected application you can see that the text section is completely changed you can see it here so this is completely encrypted it will not be possible for the hacker to remove our protection APIs and run your application so that this will provide a higher level of security this is what I was talking about and there are some accompanying files generated here so these three files will have to be placed in the original location of the application where your original dependencies where all your dependencies are present and then you can simply uh, run this application and the license of feature ID or application ID 6 should be present for it to run this is all about quick protect tool and if you want to see how you can provide licenses to your customers and what all options are available you can see the video for authenticator i hope you enjoyed it thank you and have a great day